What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to show you how I designed this patch. I'll walk you through the steps on how I bring in the artwork and arrange it so that way you can get the cuts that you want and also run you through a couple of renditions of the different types of patches so that way you can select what you like best, but let's get into it. All right, so first thing that we need to do is we need to bring in the artwork that we have. So we're gonna do that by importing right here with this little button. And I'm gonna to go to our downloads. And here I have the Five South logo that we're using from our customer. So go ahead, open that, and here we go. So this is what we got, this is what was sent from the customer, um, and right now it's just in a line. So I'm gonna leave it like this for a minute so that way we can start designing the outside of what we want our patch to be. Um, the customer asked if I thought that it would look better in a die cut or in also in, in some kind of patch shape. So we'll make up a couple of different designs and we'll go from there. So first thing that we'll do is since we're gonna do two different types, of patches, I'm going to hit select everything by dragging across to the left and hit control C and then over here control V. So I've got a copy of those sitting next to each other. Next, we're going to start off by doing our die cut patch. So it'll come in nice and tight around the edges and around the letters. So that way it basically forms the same shape as what our design is here. Um, the first thing that we'll want to do is I, I'm going to make the, the side here where it kind of bubbles out around this F and around the last part of South. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this portion here of the design and then hold control and select over here. So I've got the outer portions of this. Like you can see that there's a, a part in here that I didn't select. I don't need it. I don't need that right now. I just need the outsides. Then I'm going to come over and use my offset tool here. And you can see it automatically went and it tried to do an offset already. It, it set it to um, five millimeters, which is a little heavy for my liking. So let's go ahead and tool that down uh, to something that we feel like we like. And I think, I think that'll do it. I think that looks good. Um, it's not too close, but also not too far away. And we'll say okay with that. So now you can see we've got this bubble here and a bubble here. Um, now we need the matching pair of this circle out here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is let's go right here. We'll select this guy, hold down control and select here. And I'm actually gonna group these together. So control G and that will group it. And we're gonna do the same thing. So now I'm gonna grab this offset tool and it's going to two millimeters as our offset. And we're gonna say, Okay, so now I've got this bubble here, this bubble here, and this bubble over here, um, but we need to get them all to tie together. So we can go ahead and select here, then control select this one. And so now we've got all of our different pieces together. And we're gonna come over here and use our weld tool. That's this top one. So basically you can see there's three different squares all intersecting and it basically wipes out anything in the middle and just makes them all one piece. So that's what we're gonna use here. So I'll click that and you can see that now all of those lines that were blurred in between have all disappeared. Um, now we're gonna come in and we're gonna get rid of some garbage that we don't need. So we're gonna select this and hit control U to ungroup it. And I don't want this cut out. So I'm gonna get rid of that piece, come in here, get rid of that piece. Uh, and now we need to get rid of this intersection. So that way this is all one solid piece here. So I'm gonna select this inner portion here and you can see it all highlighted. And then we're just gonna say delete. So now that all looks good. <clears throat> um, so the next thing we wanna do is we're actually going to select everything and let's change it to fill. So that's what our logo would look like. Um, just to keep in mind, we're, we're gonna put this on a, a red leatherette. Um, so if I left it like this, it would go and it would grave everything in black. Um, and so this would not be red, the black would be black, and then the white would be red. Um, that's a whole lot of engraving, and I don't know that I'm gonna love that much. 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna select this outside line and we're gonna change that to blue. And this will be our cut line where we'll actually cut the patch out uh, for the hat. So we'll leave that there. Um, and, but yeah, that, that right there is gonna be our patch. So now I'm gonna say control G and group all that together so it stays in place. So we'll slide that one up out of the way. And now let's come down and let's look, look, look at this guy. Um, so what I like to do with different patches, I come up with different styles, um, but I kind of have a vision of what I feel like is gonna work. Uh, I look at this and just because of the way it's laid out, I, I feel like it would maybe look weird in a circle. Um, we, can, we can try it real quick and just throw out a circle, make something that looks big enough and drag it out over here. I mean, uh, may, maybe it would work. It's still just a, a lot of dead space above and below. I don't, I don't love all the space here or all the space here. So what I'm thinking is we're gonna do kind of a, a hexagonal like stretched shape. So let's go out, let's drag this guy drag this out. And what I actually want is I want the points at the top and bottom. So let's go like this and rotate and we'll say um, 90 degrees. All right, so that gets us a little bit more kind of what I'm thinking. But I still got a lot of space here. Um, it's kind of tight here. So we're gonna squish this down a little bit. So with this selected, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of squish a little. Okay, I'm thinking that's a little bit closer to what I want. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Um, what we're gonna end up doing though is, I'm gonna switch this over to inches so I can see what I'm looking at. So I've got, my height is three, four is the width. Um, that height is is a little bit too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to I'm going to select this and I'm going to lock this, and then I'm going to say I want this 2.75. So that's two and three quarters inch. So now that I've got that kind of sized where I want it, we're going to come in, select everything, and then hit Control and unselect our outside, and we're going to resize this so it fits in here a little bit better. Okay, so I think I like that. So I'm gonna hit Control G to group this stuff together again. Um, and now select everything. And just to make sure it's centered, I'm gonna hit my center here, center there, or you can also go and you can use um, the merge centers here or aligned centers, and that will do both. Um, but that looks good. But in this shape, because we do have that extra spacing here, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna create like a, a faux stitching that's gonna come across here. Um, so I'm gonna grab this outside, use the offset tool, but now instead of going outward, I want to go inward. And now I've got that inward line. I, I think I like that spacing. And I actually might even be able to make the, the logo still a little bit bigger. So let's go with that. We'll grab this logo and now I'm gonna just do it with this right here and start changing our height. And that'll just kind of size it in a little bit better. And yeah, I think let's go with that. Uh, the one thing I do need to change in order to get this center part or this middle line here to be a kind of a dotted line to look like a stitch, I'm gonna send that to another layer. So we're gonna grab my layer red right there, number two, and it's already in a line. So let's open up the settings here by double clicking and let's take a look. So there is a setting called perforation mode. So if you turn perforation mode on, then you have the option to then make how long you want the lines to be and how much spacing you want in between them. So a setting that I've kind of found that I like is seven. So 0 0.07, um, 0 0.07, I believe that's what it is. And we'll say, okay. 
And the only way that you're gonna actually be able to see what that line looks like is up in your preview window right here. So you preview it and now I can see what that looks like. So there's the stitches and I'm actually gonna turn this transversal movements off, but there you go. So I, I like how that looks. Um, we can hit play and see what it does. And actually let's go, we're gonna change to cut selected shapes, use selected origin. We're just gonna select this so we can see what it's doing. All right, so it looks good. Let's hit play, see what it does. It goes through, it's going to engrave all the middle and then it's gonna come out and it actually made the cut first. I don't like that. I want it to do the, the perforated line first. So let's grab this guy and let's move it up and let's see if that did what I needed it to do. So let's drag this again. So play. Okay, and there now you can see it's doing the stitch line and now going out and doing the cut that way. So now we've got it set up the way we want it. Um, let's go back and look at our other patch and just make sure it's doing what we're wanting it to do. So select all that, hit the preview and play. So it's gonna come through, do all of our engraving and then go and do the outline, perfect. Um, so let's go ahead and let's make sure that this is the right size. So yeah, 2.75, I don't need all the extra, there we go, 2.75. That's about the max that I want uh, on this, this patch as far as height goes. So there you go. So these are the two renditions of the patch. Um, actually before this, I found out that they do, they do want the die cut look. So that's what we're gonna go with. But I wanted to give you the example as well of what this would look like here. Um, one other thing that you can also do is you can use your um, radius tools and just kind of soften some of these edges. So let's go in here. You can come up and grab the corner here, kind of round it off on all of these edges. That way it's just, it's not so sharp looking. It almost gives it a little bit more, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna call it antiqued or vintage look. Okay, and there you go. So that looks a little bit softer, a little bit more sleek. Um, and I like it better. So that's how you would go and design your patches. Um, obviously this is a little bit more, um, more angles, lines. You can also do squares and circles and, and stuff that's a little bit more straightforward, but I like the look of these. And to me, the details matter. Uh, and that's why my customers keep coming back to me. So let's go throw this over to the laser. We're gonna breeze through it so you can see what it looks like. And then I'll show you the finished patch. So obviously this is sped up, but you can see the basics of what's going on. It's crossing all these patches. We got to do five, getting all the engraving out of the way, and then it's going to come through and do all the cut lines. And there you go. That's the, the finished patch. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please like, subscribe, and hang out for the next one.